Question four. Asif, Vicky and Nita go to town by bus. This is what they pay. Asif pays 75 pence. Vicky pays £1.35. Nita pays £1.55. Now at this point, before we do any more, it's worth pointing out that these prices are not in the same format. This is just in pence and these two are in pounds. So why don't we change Asif's ticket into pounds as well. 75 pence would be no pounds and 75 pence like that. 0.75 pounds. Now let's read the question. It says how much more does Nita pay than Asif? Well anytime you're finding how much more one number is than another you're actually finding the difference between the two numbers. And any time you're finding the difference, that means you need to do a subtraction. So, let's have a look what we've got. Well, Nita pays £1.55 and Asif pays 75p. But we've already said that 75p is the same as £0.75. So if we do a subtraction now with those two numbers, we've got one pound 55 subtract 0.75 pounds like that in other words 75p 5 take away 5 is 0 5 take away 7 we can't do so we've got to borrow 1 so that now becomes 15 15 take away 7 is 8 and 0 take away 0 is 0 don't forget your decimal point so it's 0 0.80 with a pound sign. And remember, that means 80 pence. Now, it's worth pointing out here that they have not put any units in the answer box. So they're letting us choose what units to put. So we can either put 0 0.80 with a pound sign or 80 pence. Either of those two answers are acceptable. If we scroll down to see the next part of the question, it says Vicky then takes another bus from town to visit her auntie. She pays 90p on this bus. How much has Vicky paid altogether for her two bus tickets? Well, what does she pay for the first one? She paid £1.35, it's there. So on the first bus, she paid £1.35. And on the second bus, she paid 90p. Again, we need to turn this into the same format. So 90p is 0 0.90 with a pound sign. So she's paid £1.35 on the first bus. And then we're adding together 90p on the second bus. So it's a simple column method addition. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 9 is 12, put the 2 in, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus the 1 that we carry is 2. Don't forget your decimal point. So altogether, she has paid £2.25, and that's what we need to write into the answer box. Again, they have not put in any units in there, so what you could have done is you could have kept the 90 pence, and you could have changed the £1.35 into 135 pence, and you could have worked it out in pence. Chances are you would have got a very similar answer here. So 0 plus 5 is 5, 9 plus 3 is 12, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So the other answer you could have put in there would have been 225 pence. Either of those two answers are acceptable.